ओके टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू अप्लाई मल्टीपल मटेरियल और टेक्सचर ऑन डुप्लीकेट ऑब्जेक्ट्स ओके सर लेट्स स्टार्ट विद न्यू कंपोजिशन नाउ सी हियर आई हैव वन कंडीशन व्हाइल यू अप्लाई दिस थिंग्स द थिंग इज दैट यू हैव द टेक्सचर इन सीक्वेंशियल फाइल सो फॉर एग्जांपल हियर आई इंपोर्ट the sequential file which contain the texture of playing card and here i have one another texture which contain face of this particular playing card so now i just need to apply these things on image plane 3d Okay, so why I am using image plane instead of any shape and all these things? Because uh, image plane automatically size itself as our image. Okay, so here I use these things. Here I apply one more image plane and apply this face on this. Now I merge these two things. and i just move my card little bit okay as well as i decrease subdivision level to one now i duplicate this thing for example 12 copy rotate like this 0.01 so now you get duplicate of this Merge 3D, and here you see that the duplicate contains same texture as we have over here on Merge 3D. Now you, for example, play these things, and you see you get change every time because uh, the sequence play like this, so we get change in every frame. Now. See here in duplicate there is one option called time offset. So for example, I apply one. So it give you offset of for example the first card contain the frame uh, animation of zeroth number frame. The second card contain first number to the offset with one frame. But what happen when you play these things? You get this kind of animation. So now what I have to do? So I just select this sequential file. I put this sequence in loop. Now you have to ensure that how many frame you want for animation. For example, here I set this thing to 200 frame. Okay. Now the problem with the uh, with this sequential file is that it change on every frame. Okay. Now. i have to uh, what i have to do is that we change this sequence on every 201 frame okay so for example this first image stand for 200 frame and on 201 frame the next frame is visible or activate so for that what i have to do i just select this sequence i go to miscellaneous time stretcher okay and here i remove the time stretcher on zeroth frame i again animate this thing and on 200 and one frame i apply this to one okay now i go to spline source time fit 
Now you see it's change like this. So just I select this thing. I just tap in. So what happened? Over here like this and here it change. Now for example this is 200 and 1 frame. So the next frame is on 402. The third frame is on 606 and all these things. So this is very tough. For example you have 50 or 52 images. So this calculation is little bit hectic. So here we use some good features of fusion graph editor. So I just select these two keyframes. I right click over here. I go to set loop and I set this loop into relative. So it gradually give you the values. So on 200 and one frame you got for example second first frame here you got second third and all these things now what i have to do just go to duplicate and here i change my time offset to 201 and now you see now for example here i apply 52 minus 3 minus 6 whatever okay and you just apply some animation over here for example animate like here 0 okay even Just put 20. I go to jitter, change X offset, Y offset, Z offset, some rotation in jitter like this. And you get some random card spread using this technique. So rather you uh, apply so many for example you have 52 image so you need 52 image plane 52 individual image and apply those things and create complicated network so this is the easiest way to do this thing now the problem is that when you use 3d text okay and for example here i apply some text right click here animate this thing now I go to next frame for next frame I use square bracket next frame VFX next frame fusion etc okay now when you apply duplicate this thing for example 5 copy and as I mentioned here I change offset to 1 okay you get these things now when you move like this So same thing we we have to apply over here that we have to stretch our time but the problem is that this all tools rather than 3d and particle uh, some particles not use between two 3d nodes so how we stretch our time okay so let's start with new copy so here i create one text 3d And here I right click over here, go to script, user control. I have to add my manual control on this page. So I have to select text page. Our type is text. And for example, 
my text and okay so here i got these things now i put some text over here for example chetal animate gazer vfx fusion black magic Three D text. Then anything workflow, whatever come in my mind, I just write down here. Then simple. Grid duplicates and so on. Okay, now I just right click over here on my style text, style text, add expression, and I just pick this my text over here. So now you see, I just apply some extrude. So you see this thing is happen now I just duplicate this thing same way and for example 5 copy little bit take an X Y and change my offset to 1 okay so I get same result like this but as I mentioned earlier that we need a animation stretch to for example if i here set to 200 so on 200 and one frame i want to change my text so what i have to do just remove this expression i write new expression that is self colon get value bracket inverted double comma then I call this attribute my text comma and time so what it did it call value on this particular time so right now on zeroth frame it call the value from here on one frame same value same value same value now what I have to do I just divide this time by 201 so what happened for example here my time is 0 so 0 divided by 201 that is 0 for example 100 so 100 divided by 201 that is 0 point something but time always and the frame always calculate in round figure so again 0 so now for example 201 frame so 201 divided by 201 that give me one value so on 201 frame I got the information of this my text of frame 1 okay and for example 402 so 402 divided by 201 that is 2 so that's how see um, now you see and on 201 it's changed the value now same again I have to change the offset to 201 and increase numbers of copy okay and I apply some cheater like this so that's how you set multiple tags with this shortest workflow. I hope you like this tutorial. See you soon.